In today's video, we're doing the weekend forecast today. Going to have a detailed look at weather for the next seven days across the British Isles. We've got high pressure dominating for much of the coming uh, week, but let's get through to the sort of that stage of the week around Thursday, Friday. Quite a bit of uncertainty. That high pressure is going into the northern latitudes, and we're going to start to pull cooler air down into that high pressure. Now, whether we bring a trough of low pressure uh, with that cooler air, it's a mute point. So the models are indicating it could turn very unsettled or quite unsettled anyway. Uh, towards the end of next week. Other models want to keep it drier and the model we're using for this uh, video actually, um, GFS model, wants to keep it drier uh, to the end of next week but it will turn cooler as we bring cooler air into that uh, high pressure. Now anyway, before I go on with that, I just want to talk about the advertising best green keyword ads on my pages at gaswebbiz.com. When, when you roll your cursor over the green keywords, they display ads, but when you click through the word, you go to the advertised website, and by doing that, you support gaswebbiz.com. Thanks very much for doing it. So I'll start off with a radar pitch from the UK Met Office. You can find the link to the UK Met Office website on my uh, links page. Not a lot going on really, but we have got some rain across the far northwest of Scotland that's associated with low pressure running to the north and the west of Scotland. And if you have a look at today's synoptic pressure chart from the GFS model, that is indeed the area of low pressure out in the Atlantic running to the northwest of Scotland. The uh, remains of Hurricane Umberto are tied up with that area of low pressure. It's going to stay well away to the northwest, really, but it's inflating this area of high pressure over northern France and into the British Isles. Now, we've got a lot of cloud underneath, underneath that high pressure for today, but I think we will find the cloud tending to break up over the next few days. But for today, well, some rain in the far north and northwest of Scotland, otherwise mainly dry, just drizzly bits of pieces of rain scattered around here and there, but a lot of cloud, particularly in central western areas, the best of the bright weather will be in the east and the southeast today. Temperatures in any sunshine getting up to around 20, maybe 21 degrees, but under the cloud I think they're going to be nearer uh, 16 or 17, about where we should be for the time of year, but potentially it is warm if the sunshine comes through. Overnight the low pressure will continue to push away to the northwest, taking risk of any cloud rain across the north and west of Scotland out of the way and then many areas are going to be dry, in fact all areas probably dry aside from little bits of drizzle around again. There will be a lot of cloud again through the course of the night, it's going to be a very mild night, not a warm night really for the time of year with temperatures no lower than around 10 to 15 Celsius so staying in double figures for just about all of us I think overnight tonight. The high pressure really takes over as we move through into Sunday and although we'll start off on quite a cloudy note I think we will find the sunshine burning through that cloud very quickly through the course of the morning. There'll be good sunny spells coming through in the afternoon. Of course, some places will probably keep it quite cloudy, and that's always more likely in the north and west. The best of the sunshine will always be in the east and the southeast. Temperatures in the sunshine could get up to 23. At the outside, 24 degrees, perhaps that's around 73, possibly up to 75 Fahrenheit. But if you keep it quite cloudy, it's going to limit the heat potential, so probably no better around 18 or 19 under the cloud. But potentially very warm again in the east and the southeast. Now going through to Monday, the high pressure is very dominant. Notice this northern blocking getting going up over Greenland though, and this high pressure that's over us, this mid-latitude mid high pressure, is trying to reach to that blocking high that's beginning to form over Greenland and Iceland. In terms of where it basically means it's going to be another fine day with good sunny spells. We'll probably start off with some mist and fog patches in places. They'll disappear, I mean I think we are going to have some pretty good sunshine on Monday, but always some cloud floating around again, always more likely in the north and the west. Temperatures again could be up to around 23, 24 degrees, so somewhere into the low 70s Fahrenheit, very much above average for the time of year. Now you see what's going on as we move through into Tuesday. The heights are really building up to the north of the country. That's proper northern blocking. It's very unusual to see that extent of northern blocking uh, at this point in the year. Normally the Atlantic is really ramping up now and bringing big storms in uh, between uh, Greenland and Iceland, but not this year. We've got the northern blocking returning across uh, the northern latitudes. Again, in terms of the weather though, it doesn't mean very much. It's going to be uh, more of the same really for us on Tuesday with uh, really quite good sun spells. Maybe some cloud and patchy rain coming into the far north and northeast of Scotland, but I think most areas will be dry on Tuesday. 
Could be missing the fog around uh, uh, to begin with, and again on uh, Tuesday evening. But otherwise, in the sunshine through Tuesday itself, temperatures probably getting up again to around 22, possibly 20. Three degrees, but nights will probably be turning a little bit cooler though uh, under those mist and fog patches. Now, as we move through into Wednesday, it's getting more uncertain. We've got this northern blocking, as I say, to the northern latitudes. We've got this cut off low down in the Atlantic. We're trying to bring cooler air down uh, into this uh, ridge of high pressure, um, and we're possibly setting up a trough as well. There is a trough forming around uh, the North Sea. How much that trough deepens and moves in across the country, very difficult. So, I think Wednesday is going to be a dry day more or less for all of us, but there will be the risk of some showers in the North East. Temperatures will be starting to edge down a little bit. We'll be probably looking at maximums of around 19 in the south, say around 13 or 14 in the north. And moving through to Thursday, then we're getting into a very uncertain phase. The ECMWF from Thursday onwards wants to turn it really unsettled with low pressure dominating. The GFS wants to keep the high pressure dominant, but we are bringing cooler air into that area of high press. So we'll see the temperature sliding away through Thursday. Probably no better than around 17 perhaps in the south and just 12 up in the north of Scotland. In terms of the weather, it's mainly dry again if the GFS is right, although always the risk of showers in the north and the east, but highly uncertain I think as we get through to the end of the week that's really the main message, and then moving through to Friday, very speculative but this shows high pressure still going on although there is a cold front moving south across the country, a weak one producing some cloud and patchy rain um, and temperatures really are dipping away as we move through to the end of the week, so probably no better around 15 or 16 perhaps in the south and in the north we're struggling to Get into uh, double figures and going through into uh, Saturday into next weekend. Well, look at that high pressure it really is uh, in the Atlantic and going up to Greenham. That's a proper sort of blocking feature. This low pressure around the uh, coast of Norway and to the northeast Scotland could be a lot deeper and be bringing in heavy rain and northerly winds across the country. Um, but really uncertain. Uh, from Thursday onwards, quite what's happening, other than the temperatures will be sliding away. Finally, have a look at the charts from weather outlook. This is a chart per day, a lot of cloud across the country, but mainly dry weather away from the far northwest and little bits of drizzle uh, scattered around. Morning way of sunshine coming through on Sunday after quite a cloudy start. Temperatures will be responding in that sunshine, could be up to 23 uh, degrees. This is showing good sunshine uh, for Monday as well, very warm also. Perhaps more in way of cloud on Tuesday, temperatures just beginning to edge down a little bit, but still pretty warm. By the time we get through to Wednesday and then on into Thursday, we are seeing the temperatures increasingly sliding away as cooler air comes down from the north and the east, possibly bringing some showers down as well through uh, Thursday and Friday. But the GFS isn't showing much rain. Uh, for Thursday and Friday, whereas the ECMWF is very, very wet indeed uh, for Thursday and Friday and going into next weekend. So there's a big degree of uncertainty about weather for the end of the week and into next weekend. So in summary, it looks like we're going to be mainly dry and warm for the next three or four days at least. Then it's going to turn uh, cooler as we get through to Wednesday. On into Thursday, Friday, temperatures will slide away as cooler air comes down from the north and the east. Whether it turns unsettled with that cooler air, we're going to have to wait and see. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.